Hello, this is a brief demonstration on how to get a CNC file out of an AutoCAD file. So the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to open up a predetermined template. And as you can see in this template, I have all of my layers set up. I'm going to pick one in particular, this demonstration. So I'm just going to make a very simple part. I'm going to pick absolute coordinates of zero. And I'm going to make this 150. I'm going to offset this back in 20. Next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to draw a line from the same absolute. 0, 0, 0. And I'm just going to switch on ortho and I'm going to bring this at 450. Next thing I want to do is going to draw another circle. And I'm just going to make this 100. And I'll set it back in 20. Next thing I need to draw a tangent line between those two outer circles. So the best way to do this is to turn off auto first. And to start my line out here. And bring up my submenu of my snaps and select tangent. And same thing again over with this outer circle too. I'm just going to delete this line and I'm just going to mirror this one. And that center line there is going to be. Do that again. To mirror this line, select it. And I want to go modify mirror, and those two points are going to be my reference points for that mirror. And next thing I want to do, I want to delete this one, and I'm going to do some trimming. Next thing I want to make that outer part one piece. So what I'm going to do here is bring up poly edit and I'm going to select this one. And I ask me down here to want to turn it into a poly line. I'll select Y if I guess. And then I want to select join and I'm going to select all these other parts here. So now you can see that's one part. Next thing I'm going to do is go to Z, Z, and I'm going to save this part. And next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to export this out as save it as a DXF file also. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it into a program called Pronest. And um, with this one I'm going to do, I'm just going to leave everything the way it is as, as it is at the moment. And I'm just going to bring in that DXF file that I created earlier. That's my DXF file. And I'm just waiting for the program to generate that part there in this window. Okay. I'm just going to collect that, select that DXF file, and because the, it's been generated, it's generated in the preview, I know that it's good to go, so I can put it into this part of the window. And this gives me the option of changing a few things, the materials that the part is made made from. But I'm going to just type in the quantity that I want. Actually, I'm going to leave it at 100. 
Now I'm going to leave everything else at default there. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to let it automatically populate this piece of metal. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to export this out as a CNC file. Actually, before I do that, I'll just show you that you can actually get a, a brief simulation of the cutting sequence. And um, well, you can see the sequence there. It shows you there the number how how the machine is going to run. Uh, but this this here gives you much better perspective. So you kind of get the picture there. Next thing I want to do is I want to export this out for the purpose of loading on onto the CNC machine. So I'm going to pick one of these. Now this just says that there's a problem with the metal really uh, so I'm just going to change a few things here and I'm going to try this again to export this out as a CNC file and so You can see how the progress is going for the, this particular CNC file. So that's that created. And on to the next step. Before I do that, I just want to show you that you can actually get some reports. And um, this. So I'm going to pick uh, reports. can see here you have a different you have a few different options of reports so I'm just gonna say job summary and you can see it gives you basically a costing and um, uh, how much uh, materials you've used for that particular job uh, so the next step is that CNC file can now be opened up in Simcoe, which is uh, a simulation software that will simulate almost every any CNC machine on the market. So I'm just going to editor and open. And I'm going to pick this CNC file that we created just a few minutes ago. that CNC file and this is what you expect to see this this is just a text file of the actual part that I created in AutoCAD and changed it then from AutoCAD file into a DXF and then brought the DXF file into um, uh, Simcoe which is actually a, a software used for simulating uh, CNC pro, uh, machines so the next thing I want to do is go into back, back plot, which will give it a uh, a preview of the cutting of the part um, on the sheet metal. I have it open in Simcoe. I'm just going to show you how that will look in real time. So that's my demonstration on how to transfer uh, AutoCAD file from a, an AutoCAD file into a DXF file uh, and then into a CNC file for running off in a CNC machine. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.